right, good. You, you appear to me to be more comfortable now on this time around. I don't know why, but you appear, appear to be, okay? That, I, uh, I wasn't looking at the measure numbers, but look for the little echo moments. That's one of the keys to know when to go from one part to the next. Where did we just leave off, John? Um, right here's where we stop. <coughs> <coughs> measure 20. Is that 20 right there, bottom? Yeah, okay. So like where the sopranos go... Now, that would be a place, to me, very logically, where should you go in 21? <coughs> Not just because it's an entrance, but because that's kind of a main theme there. So that would be an instance where it probably would have been better there to have gone ahead and left your focus on Sopranos and moved her here to base. Just, you were getting a lot of the entrances. I'm not trying to pick on you for missing that one, but I'm just saying that would be not just because of an entrance, but because that's a main part of the thing. And, and again, the reason this is so important that you can be comfortable with this is... When you think you skip ahead from this English composer to Haydn, who's not an English composer, but that uh, Haydn creation, that's a really nice English setting, right? So, I mean, it feels very English. How much different is what uh, we're trying to do with Achieve It as the Glorious Work than this? Not really different at all. In fact, I'm not going to say you have to do this, but it would be kind of a, a neat little personal goal 